How you doing today, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for stopping in. If you guys can't tell, I'm in Florida, and I came down from New Jersey for one specific reason and brought the GT350, and that is to link up with Mustang Lifestyle. I'm going to see Andrew right now and Lewis to check out over 2,000 horsepower in two different GT350s, as well as a Trinity 2013 GT500 that has over 1,300 horsepower. I'm only about 30 minutes away. Let's get going. It's time to show you guys some epic Mustang action. It's so much hotter here than New Jersey. I used to live in Florida, and I can tell you guys the sun will cook you here in about 30 minutes. You will burn anywhere from Orlando to Miami. You will burn in about 30 minutes or less, maybe even 10 or 15 minutes if you're fair skinned. All right, guys, we are here in Mustang Lifestyle's garage. What's up, Andrew? What is going on? We're gonna show you around his uh, collection and assortment of Mustangs. And we also have somebody else here, Pro Charge Beast. Yes, how you guys doing? 900 wheel horsepower Pro Charge GT350. Andrew has the 350R, which is making a little over 900, right? Yeah, right now it's on 93, so it makes 800. Okay, 800 um, wheel on 93. But it made 920 on E85. Awesome. And the car sitting behind them is 1300 and change. Yeah, 1300, 6000 RPM. I oh think my God. If we revved it out, it should make like 1370. It's a mid eight second car right there, guaranteed. Yeah. Once you it's actually probably, get it. Probably a low eight second. Yeah, maybe in low. Auto in it. Hell yeah. <laughs> so uh, we're going to have some fun stuff for you guys today. We're going to, he's going to start this one up, cold start. We're all going to be deaf. Then I'm going to show you guys his other cars. I mean, he's got some filming to do, and then we're just gonna, you know, drive, have some fun. We're gonna show you guys some action with three different GT350s. So it's gonna be like a triage today. It's just trios. So let's uh, let's get to some action. Are yeah. we gonna be deaf here, Andrew, or what's gonna happen oh, here? Yeah. yeah. See, this this baby makes a, oh. a lot of power. You know? Drum right here. There you go. Woo! Oh yeah. This is all the horsepower right here. Wow. Shout out right in the bottom of the screen, Mustang Lifestyle. Go subscribe. Yeah, let's get to this. All right, oh, we're gonna be deaf here. Let me get outside of the garage so I don't go deaf. must like they're, they're gonna I think they're gonna come kill us maybe it's possible I think he's working right he's working Woo! yeah s197 here man this reminds me of the old days with my yeah. 05 GT I'm driving this to PA tonight oh you're selling it that's right yeah she's already sold it's a good car it's actually got a watts link foil overs pretty much full suspension nice why would you want why'd you want to part with it another toy um, coming no, it's just I have too many cars. <laughs> That's what I say. <laughs> too many cars. And Lewis is over there like, can I drive it before you sell it? Yeah. <laughs> no, he doesn't, he doesn't like that one. Oh, you don't, don't like, like these the things? Oh, okay, okay. But the 335i basically replaced those ones too. So. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. Lewis is all about the 350. I'm all about the 350. The 350, just like me. I'm all about the 350. Yep. So we got unos, dos, tres. We have three of them, three GT350s. 
We're gonna have some serious fun. Obviously mine's slow as fuck, but it's all right. Well, actually, is it really, is it mine slow as fuck or is it just that yours is lightning fast? Yeah, fast as fuck. Yeah, because <laughs> like I wouldn't consider the GT350 slow, no. but compared to a boosted one, it's, it's, it's night and day difference. And we're talking about 900 wheel horsepower versus 500. It's not even close. Almost double. <laughs> 500 versus 900 is not fair. It's not fair. All right, I'll follow you guys. We're going to get out of here, have some fun. I don't know what we've got planned yet. We're just going to go with the flow. We're going to get out of here. It's not my first rodeo in a GT350, obviously, but this setup, definitely. You just gotta show me where to go, because I don't. Uh, this way. Oh, the clutch is nice. There's a little bit of chatter to it, but it's not like insane. It just depends on how you drive it. Oh, wow, the torque. <laughs> it has torque again. Yeah. That's a lot of playing. Definitely. I haven't driven a stock G50 in a while, but. See, not even getting on it, just the 3000 feels very similar to a Hellcat. And I've had like two Chargers, a Challenger, and a SRT to Rangwen. A nice motor there. Uh, in track mode? Uh, yeah, sport mode. Sport mode's good.
Oh my God, they respond to boost because of the high, uh, high compression. compression. 12 yeah. to one or 12 and a half? Uh, I think it's like 12, 12, 12 to one, I believe. Oh I always forget. God. Yeah, because um, most but, supercharged cars in the GT500 are like nine to five or 10 to five or something. Yeah. yeah. Plus, you got the 5.2 heads, which flow really well, and they're really good, the Voodoo cams as well. Oh my God. And then match that with the uh, flat plane crank. You get the sound, you get the RPM. I'm also digging this 2500 Tour. Yeah. Like right there. Oh yeah. About 3200, it really, it really does start to pick up. Yeah. Versus without a supercharger, it doesn't start feeling like that until about 45. So you're getting all that bottom end grunt. Yeah, I've been doing all this beating on it too, and it's not even hot. I mean, you can look. Oh yeah. Cool and temp, 172, IAT2 is 120, which is, it's, that's good for, for what it's, we've just been doing. It is incredible. Yeah, even oil temp, I mean, oil temp's right about normal. Yep, oil PSI is good. I always keep an eye on these gauges. If this starts to go down, shut the car off. Yeah. That's like your telltale sign right there. But, you know, a lot of people complain about it, but about them blowing or they're worried about it. I mean, how many blew? Like 100 out of 20,000? Come on. Yeah, I mean, what's, great cars. what's the saying? Like the squeakiest wheel, you get heard the loudest or whatever. <laughs> yeah, 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 I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Don't let a rotten apple spoil the bunch. Exactly. People are saying these cars are drunk, and I mean, oh, hell I, I agree with you. These cars are one of the best cars that Ford has ever produced. Oh, hell yeah. Like, it, this is my favorite Ford car besides the Ford GT. Right. But uh, this is, for the everyday affordable car, this is the best car in my opinion Ford's ever made. I do like the Ford Focus RS though, the new one. Yeah. I drove the hell out of that one recently, like maybe like a year ago or so. That is an amazing car. It's better than the Civic Type R in my opinion. Third gear. Third gear. Oh, third gear? All right. Oh yeah. Definitely third gear. You scared me about third. That's why I didn't do it. <laughs> Mustang lifestyle sues driveway damage for imprisonment. <laughs> this so is, if you want to see more of this car, oh. check out my channel. Oh yeah, check out uh, Mustang lifestyle. This car is sick. I'm gonna copy his build. I'm gonna get his clutch tires and supercharger. <laughs> oh my god. I'm gonna have to go Whipple. I think. So far. Blackness. Oh my <laughs> god, this car is fast. Oh, yeah, this is fucking nasty. <laughs> Holy. Can I take it home? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> for the small price of 70 grand. Yes, for the one small one time payment of $70,995. <laughs> oh, Lewis, this thing's crazy. Oh, it, it has torque again. It had a lot more torque than this car. And, the, and, and this thing, the thing about this is that, like, um, the bottom end is there, but then when it starts to get up top, it doesn't want to stop and it screams and it just throws you back. Little POV inside view. 
I'm gonna get in trouble. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Thanks for letting me drive, buddy. Yeah, for sure, man. Awesome stuff. Definitely check him out, guys. Once again, Mustang lifestyle. And uh, he's got all the Mustangs. All of them. Like, pretty too much. Many. Yeah, too many. Well, there's never too many Mustangs, right? <laughs> never too many. Oh, wow. We need a C6 Z06. <laughs> what would you rather have? A, uh, a Z06 or this if you could only have one? Oh, this all day. Yeah, yeah. GT350 beats this, out Corvette. This is like, this is the best car I've ever driven. And then I drove this car and I was, fell in love and I got the opportunity to buy it about a year after I drove it. All right, so if you guys don't know what we're doing, Lewis is letting me drive his GT350 with a Pro Charger because they're trying to convince me to either get a Pro Charger or a Supercharger. Uh, Lewis, Pro Charge Beast, he's like, I think you should get the Pro Charger because it's a little lighter. It sounds like a jet plane. It's got a blow off valve. Oh, yes, sir. What brand of blow off valve? It's is the it? big red. It's the big red race valve. Uh, a big red race valve. It comes from Pro Charger. And it comes from Pro Charger. So it does sound like a, a jet plane. You're gonna hear the. Almost sounds like turbo whistle. So really what it comes down to is preference. Uh, there's more bottom end torque I'm hearing on the R with the Whipple, but the top end is a little bit of a different experience on, yes. on the Pro Charger. Pro Charger. So uh, we, you know, just gonna, Lewis is gonna let me drive his car and I'm yes, really sir. thankful for that. Yep. I'm gonna baby it a little bit. I'm not gonna go all the way in unless of course he forces me to. Yep. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Andrew did actually tell me to, to go harder. Yep. I was going soft at first yep. and he's like, nah, Going to third and go. So I, I did it and I will tell you my driving impressions from Andrew's 350R, it, it's freaking incredible. That car is more fun than my red eye was because now it's got the power of the red eye, but it's a manual, it's lighter and it handles better. So it, and I'll tell you what, the sound alone is worth it. Uh, did you hear me coming up? Yes. It's nasty, it's man. Awesome. I can't wait to hear what yours sounds like because it's two different exhaust companies, Correct. two different brands. Um, you're with American Racing. American Harris? Racing, all the way headers, all the way to mufflers. And you have uh, Cooks. Cooks stepped uh, headers, and then to the stock mufflers. Okay, stock. Let's listen to the uh, the jet plane sound here. A little swoosh. Oh, that's completely different. Yeah, it's, it, everything feel is more. Yes. Uh, Trust me, it's, it's going to be a lot smoother. We'll be right back. Have fun. I think Enjoy. Andrew's going to be drooling at your uh, fat booty back. <laughs> I think he's going to like that. You want to see the view when I take off? Yeah. <laughs> oh, your clutch is a little bit, a little, a little bit easier. E yeah. It, it doesn't like. Correct. It doesn't grab real hard at the beginning. His car, as soon as you start to touch the gas, it jumps with torque. Yes. Whereas yours is a little bit more stock. relaxing. It feels yes. very similar to stock. Yes. And the exhaust is more refined. Correct. I won't do anything at first because it'll be useless. Oh, there, yeah, I feel it. It's like stockish, but then bam. Yep. Yeah, I like that. Because it hits you like a ton of bricks. There's no gradual build to it. We went that way, and, yes. I think, and we'll just make it you. The same that. thing, yep. Yeah. yeah, different experience. The steering wheel's different. Yes. Uh, shifter's different. Exhaust is a little bit different. Right. I keep feeling like it's gonna grab, but it's like stock. Did you hear that? It's the noises of this oh glorious 
Your car, <laughs> your engine sounds like you have a beast hiding under the hood. Yes, sir. It's like pissed off and is tired of being under there just trying to blow your hood right on. Yep. Oh my God. I feel like it is every bit as fast as his, if not faster, because you're on E85. Yeah. The difference is, is that yours is shocking because it drives like stock, but then when you get into it, it starts to build boost really fast. Yes. And then when you shift, it's just like all this air is blowing off, like making all kinds of noise. Yep. It sounds like I'm driving a 747 Boeing. Yes. <laughs> That's almost what it feels like. It's incredible, and they don't feel like they're the same car at all. No, it's different. They're both different. Yeah, it feels like two different versions of a perfect beast. When we get some room, I'll definitely uh, feel it again. I love this steering wheel, though, man. I like it, too. It's got a little bit more, like, Holster. thickness. Yep. And, and uh, it feels like it's got more sturdiness to it. I like, like that. And I don't got to worry about the Alcantara wearing out. Exactly. That's I'm why I did that. Tougher. So when this gets wet, it's just leather. You just wipe it. Correct. Yeah, I like this. This is really nice. Plus, this is not just a GT350. This is Lewis's GT350. Exactly. It's so custom. different. Correct. Like, nobody is going to have this exact car. Nobody. Like, you got different colors, different logos. Like, yes. uh, all the carbon fiber is customized to your taste. That's correct. I like that a lot. Like, I feel like I'm driving a custom-built car. I like that. is usable a little bit because it's tame. Bit, yeah. Jersey over 2,000 horsepower in the two GT350s and then of course mine which is making 600. Be sure to subscribe to Pro Charge Beast and Mustang Lifestyle. Thank you so much for stopping in. Be sure to subscribe to my channel. If you have and there he goes again. Wow. Be sure to subscribe to Pro Charge Beast, Mustang Lifestyle as well as my channel. Tap that like button and share it with everyone you know. And we'll see you guys on the next upload. Be safe out there, take care of yourselves in these strange times, and I will see all of you on the next upload or live stream. Peace.